All right, so this video is a bit of an introduction into how, into how we can um, deal with a many-to-many -many relationship in a relational database such as MySQL. So just to, I guess, set the scene, uh, if you imagine maybe having um, at a school you've got students who belong to sports teams. Now, um, if we set up a, a table here called, say, student, and that's for our first, oh, that's for our kids, so they'll have an ID and a name. I'll just keep the data nice and minimal. And then each team has its own ID again and the name of the team. Now, if students could only ever be in one team, it would be quite easy because we could just say, all right, we'll put the team ID down here along with the student, and then each student would just have one team that they could belong to. Um, so if we had, you know, student one was John, he might belong to team one, and over here team one might be the football team. Um, student two would be Bob, and Bob might also belong to the football team. Okay, so we can have um, multiple students in one team, so that's what no what's known as a many-to-one relationship. Now, um, the problem, of course, is what happens if John also wants to participate, say, in drama? Now, we can't then have a third record put John in here and then put two as a team because now we've got two different records called John. So this database structure won't support uh, a many-to-many -many relationship which is where we could have uh, many students being in many different teams. So what we need to do is we need to change the way our database is laid out. So what we do is we take the team ID out of here, which I'm trying to do, there we go, and uh, instead what we do is we're going to create a, a linking table. So first of all, I'll just quickly put the two people back in here. There's John and Bob. And um, I'm going to create a linking table. And the way I tend to name these is just as a compound word with the two, excuse me, with the two tables that it's joining. And then it's just going to have, each record will have its own unique ID. I just call that ID because I'm never really going to use that. Uh, and then within that though, the fields are going to be the student ID and team ID. And so you can see hopefully that we have a connection here and here. Now how this works then is down here if I wanted to have say record one is my student John so that would be student ID one uh, playing football and then the second record might be student one John participating in drama. And so you can see what I've got here is I've got John there twice, but he's in both football and drama. And so it enables us to quite easily uh, maintain this many-to-many -many relationship. If we have uh, Bob then is also in drama, so our third record, uh, that would be Bob as our second student, and he's in drama. And so uh, you can see how that table is just going to be full of numbers. So it's something that's very hard to maintain by hand. This is one that would sit in, in the background of your, your web application. You wouldn't actually maintain this one and enter it by hand. So anyway, I'll just show you practically how this works and how you then might query it. So if I just go back into MySQL, I've set up a database here with that same structure. So if we have a quick look, you can see my student table has two students, John and Bob, and my team table has football and drama, one and two. And then I have my linking table, student team, and you can see there student ID one belongs to both football and drama, and number two, which is Bob, belongs to drama only. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you how we might run a query that would pull out uh, all the students belonging to a particular sport. So uh, the way this works, I'll zoom slightly, is what we need to do is we need to say, what do we want to select? And so because it's going to be from multiple tables, we need to actually specify the table name. So I'm going to say from the student table, I want the name. Um, you could also grab the sport um, name as well if you wanted, but I'm just going to go for the one field for now. And then I say where I'm getting it from. And now the main table is going to be, let's just flip through here, is going to be my student team. This central team, table, that's the one that I'll be using as my main selection table. So I will say from student team. So it's from the linking table. And then what I do is I just join on whichever table I'm trying to get the information from. So in this case here I'm going to be joining on the student table. So it says join student on and 
what I need to do is from the student team table, I'm just going to find and grab the student ID. And what I do is I link that up with the student table. Uh, I want to find the same student ID. So that should, all going well, follow this join here, this red line on the left. That's it. And I'll just say where, and I say I only want the kids who are participating in drama. So I would say where student team dot team ID equals two. So uh, notice again because I am selecting from multiple tables doing a join, I need to specify the table before the um, actual um, column there. So if we just run this, I can find my go button. There it is. So when we run this, you can see there are the two students who are participating in drama. Uh, if I wanted to see who was playing football, I could quite simply change my team ID to one, hit go, and that should just return John because he's the only one playing football. Okay, so that is how we would go about selecting from these tables uh, when we're using these linking tables. Okay, so just to quickly reiterate, uh, when you are going to have a many to many relationship, we would set up our two tables, student and team, then we would set up our linking table in between them. Uh, which then really has its own ID, but then it just has the ID, the primary keys from the other two tables. You can see student ID and team ID. And then when we go to run our queries, we tend to query this joining table, linking table, uh, as our primary selection. And then we just join on the other tables. So you can see here I've said I've used from student team, and then I have just joined the student table on uh, to go and get the, the name of the students I need. So I hope that helps.